Hi, in the last video lesson, we customize our custom error response. So in this video lesson, we're going to go further with the customization of errors and also check for some MongoDB error. So without wasting time, let's begin. Okay, guys, so let's customize um, our custom error response. So here, instead of sending, I mean, this uh, error, custom error response here in the controller, so I'm going to send it here, I mean, in our error handler. And to do this, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to console log, I mean, this error, okay, error. Yeah that name so i've showed you in the last video lesson where we get this and that name okay so and save and here i'm gonna only send i mean uh, error because all of these will be handled from uh, our custom error response so and if we go to the uh i mean to postman so and we try to get this one Okay. Um, okay, so you see the name is a cast to object ID. And if we get back, so let's get back. So to see in the console, and the name is a cast error. Okay, so we have seen uh, our custom error name was a cast error when we sent a bad object ID. And now we're going to send a custom response for this error. And Let's add a comment. So, uh, mongoose, I mean, bad object ID. So, um, we're going to add a condition if, I mean, this error, okay, if error.name equal to, I mean, uh, our custom error name was a cast, cast error, okay? So, um, cast, okay, error, okay? If we do have this error, what we wanna return? So, we wanna add, uh, sorry, a message, okay? Message equal, I mean, we could say resource. Oops, with source not found. Okay, but uh, as we don't want to send, I mean, uh, a message for, uh, I mean, a separate message and uh, for each error. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make a copy. I mean, let, I mean, error. I'm gonna make a copy of, I mean, this error. Okay. And we use the spread operator, okay, like so. And if we want to have the message too, so error, I mean, that message, because we are making a copy, so equal error dot message, okay. So, uh, and now, so what we want to send here, so we're going to call this error, okay, error. Okay, and let's call our custom error response. Okay, um, response. Okay, and uh, first of all, what we wanna send, we are going to send the message, and after that, I mean, uh, 
the status so don't forget that this um we have this so uh this uh, our l class that has a message and a status code and now we want to send not found okay has uh, our new our response okay but we have to bring i mean uh, our customer error response cons oops cons uh, error error response okay, equal require okay so uh, uh, we are in middleware so one step up uh, one step up and after that we want to enter in the utils okay utils okay and after that uh, we have our error response okay so um, in this one so as we make a copy of the error of the error and now we could replace i mean uh, error the status here and error here okay so and now we're gonna give a try in postman to see if we get our custom uh, i mean uh, error response for home rules okay as you can see in our controller user controller we have only next error and now let's uh jump to postman okay so uh this is a bad id as you can see bad object id for mongoose and let's try to send a request okay and uh, as you can see we have our custom error response you see success false and error resource not found okay so um let's continue with our uh with some mongoose error okay okay guys so now in the i mean in our custom uh, error handler so let's check for other mongoose errors and to check this uh, we're gonna console that log i mean the error itself okay error itself okay and now let's save well but before giving a try in postman so i have this custom response when the user already exists i mean when uh, um we have a duplicate key for i mean uh, for email so i'm gonna remove this okay for now just to see the i mean the custom uh the response for mongoose and now uh check this i mean in our error handler okay so we have comment this for now just just to check the error so and now let's go back to postman okay and uh, okay okay so now in postman um i'm gonna try to sign up with a user that is uh, i mean already in the database i mean as you know the user should be unique and now let's try to sign up with the same user and as you can see you see message um we have this a one duplicate key error and now if we get back to i mean uh, our code editor so as you can see we have a bunch of i mean errors so you see the reference error so we have the code so we're gonna check for this code i mean for duplicate key and now let's uh, check this error code in in i mean in our error handler so what we want to do if i mean if uh, we have uh, error that code because you see this is a code okay error that code i mean uh, equal to i mean eleven thousand. okay okay what we want to send we want to have a custom message i'm going to copy this and customize the message just to save time okay so what we want to say uh we want to send has message this is a duplicate duplicate field value enter it okay 
So, uh, and uh, house message, this is, uh, I mean, uh, a bad quotes, okay? And well onward, okay? Now, okay, I forget a little details. So here in, uh, I mean, the user sign up controller, I should remove this, okay? Because this will be handled by our custom error response. So um, I have this next, okay, here, next, I mean, and, now I'm gonna pass I mean this error. Okay. And after that we save. So now we could uh, jump to I mean uh, postman. So if we go to postman here and try to give uh try to send a request, okay. So you know this user already is in the database and let's try to sign up, okay. Okay, as you can see, we have our custom error response when we have a duplicate field value entered. Okay, so uh, this works. Okay, so now um, let's continue. Okay, so now um, we're gonna check for, I mean, uh, validation. So, um, as you know, we have some fields that are required, and now let's try to sign up. So, uh, Okay, here we are. We have, uh, I mean, the success was error, but uh, the most important, we're gonna look, uh, I mean, in in the VS Code. So, okay. So, as you can see here, let's check for, for I mean, for the name of our error. So let's check. Okay. So here the name is uh, validation error. Okay and uh this one errors so we have an array of uh, objects so um here um, let's try to output uh, this custom message okay if okay so we have the name that is error error that uh, name equal i mean if we have a validation error what we want to do so let's add our message const message okay equal so as you can see we have error that errors but uh, what we want to have we want to have uh, the custom message i mean please add a name please um add an email okay so we have a bunch of things but we only need i mean the, the message in it okay so uh here what we're gonna do i'm gonna um check with you i mean a little snippet okay so uh, okay uh let's look at this but we wanna have the value of uh, the object okay this here we are okay object that values okay and we pass i mean the array okay so uh let's go back so this is uh, this. I mean, almost the same thing we wanna do. I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay. Okay. And now I'm gonna write. I mean, uh, object. Object that. I mean, values. Oops. That values and. We have error that errors, but we only need the message for each message. I mean, for for each error. Okay, so uh, we're gonna to extract. We're gonna map that map. Okay, and uh, we're gonna let's say. I mean, we want the value. Okay. Okay, but value that message. Okay, we wanna have each message. Okay, of each error, and now let's uh output our custom error here okay so here and now we have the message a message here and uh what we have this is also i mean uh um add request and now let's save so if we go back now to our code editor now i mean to postman sorry so let's go back so you see how the message is formatted. So let's see if we have something new. Okay, let's try to sign up, send a request. 
Okay, and as you can see, we have only the message. Please add a password. Please add a, an email. Please add a name. Okay, guys. So uh, I think so for uh, the mongols errors. We, if we, if you check, if you, I mean, you could add. Uh, I mean, some others errors that you might see, okay, in your error handler, okay. So, but uh, I think uh, this is sufficient to, I mean, to continue with um, our main tutorial, okay. So, if you have questions, so please drop, uh, please use the comment section, okay. And if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up uh, and share it to your friend, okay. Each time you like this video, you help these. Um, you help other people and uh, YouTube uh, will suggest, okay, more people to watch this video. So from now, thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.